Happy June 4th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy answered a number of job postings on the Mud Mudbrook Town Job Posting Board. <laughs> we tried gathering herbs, we tried tutoring, we tried being a brewer's apprentice and being a locksmith's assistant. We doubled our amber, we're now at 25, um, and we caused some damage to the brewer's equipment and to ourselves. I'm a little concerned our health is now 19, uh, sorry, 9 of 19, so we want to keep an eye on that. Ivy has a few ways to heal herself, but I'm hoping for a rest here in town at some point, so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. You step into Mudbrook, a once swampy town now drained. Roam the streets, listen for clues about the needed key, and uncover the city's secrets. The needed key. Explore the city. Did I miss something? Oh! Oh! Um, do I have... Hold on. Yeah, here... Okay, so back a few days ago we had this rock. And then we just left it, and we fell in quicksand. We solved these riddles. Um, there's a key-shaped hole in the rock, and the answers to the riddles were uh, water, key, and mud. So key, mud water, or mud brook. Key and mud brook. It, it's coming. So I'm slow, I guess. <laughs> this did not, um, this didn't land in my brain at all. But I guess... <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing. We are headed to Mudbrook to find the key for this stone. So we are returning to that. We didn't just abandon that plot thread like it seemed at the time. Okay, well, let's explore the city and uh, listen for clues about the needed key. All right, the first stop here. The Baron Barrel Bar and Pub. You have the option to spend five amber to take a rest. Yeah, let's do that. We've got the amber. Um, that takes us to 20. 20. And what all happens here? We restore our health to full. We're back to 19 health, just like that. And uh, what else? Restore our party members' health. Here's our party. I think we did. Um, yeah, Bumble had taken a hit. And I thought somebody else did, but it looks pretty clear. Okay. That's our party. Regain all expended uses of abilities. Um, regain all spell points. We're good there. Remove poison condition and the cursed condition. We're good there for once. Uh, change your equipment. Change your party members. We don't have any extras, so we're not going to swamp anything or swap anything out there. And uh, what else? Remove a single negative modifier. If we had died, that might be a thing, but uh, we. We haven't, so that's good. All right, we're all, we're full health. Beggar, stop number two. This frail, feathered individual looks up at you with pleading eyes. The, their feeble voice is barely above a whisper, asking for sustenance. Do you give her a meal ration or one amber? Uh, I get, we get to choose a meal ration. We have three rations. Let's give her a meal ration. Yes, remove the amber or meal ration from your inventory. Gain gain one virtue. Excellent. Wow, we haven't had the opportunity for that in a long time, I think. So our rations go to two, and our virtue goes to four. Rations two, virtue four. Excellent. Okay. Stop number three, a merchant. A merchant offers you a valuable map to a rare water source for three amber, promising that you could be a hero if you bring the water back to town. Do you buy it? Yes. Yes, why not? Uh, that takes us to 17 amber. 17. Okay, and uh, if yes, remove the three amber from your inventory. 
The merchant scurries away before you discover the map is a poorly drawn fake that isn't likely to lead anywhere. Write down fake map somewhere for future use. All right. Very well. Maybe we will encounter the merchant again and get our money back. Uh, Drought-stricken garden. You come across a garden with withered plants. A sea of brown and yellow where there should be vibrant greens and colors. An elderly rabbit stands amidst the dying plants. Can you help my garden, she asks. Hope evident in her voice. D20 plus wisdom. Sure, why not? <laughs> like seven. <laughs> wisdom is plus two. That's nine. Uh, wow. We'd have to get 16 to get the better result. Um, so this is the worst result. Your recommendations are practical, but the drought's effects are too advanced. The elderly rabbit nods politely, but looks crestfallen. You feel regretful knowing you couldn't offer the help she needed. All right. And our last stop, gossiping townspeople. A mix of chatty townspeople stand in a circle near the well. Their conversation is animated, filled with whispered speculations and theories about the water shortage. Roll D20 plus Charisma, Reminder, Investigator. We're not an investigator, nor is anybody in our party. So it's just D20, 7 again. Charisma is plus 2. That's a 9. Result is 12 or less. Is there any way we can get 4 points? Um... We only we have the Baron, he can help us with charisma, but I think that'd only be one or two points. So again, the worst result. A recurring theme suggests that a blocked underground spring might be the culprit. Armed with this information, you might be better equipped to help the town if you decide to. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Did anything good come of that? We got we're fully healed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we got a virtue point. All right, we're down and we traded a meal ration for a virtue point. Well, that's something. Okay, well, that, my friends, is June 4th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.